What's up, bitches? It's your best friend, Kelly. Whoa, the motherfucker. Here for your second car confessional of the day. Y'all just motherfucking lucky. You know that? Um, I still need to fix this fucking phone holder. So, yeah. Ha! Bitch. Um, yeah, so it's Thursday. I got quite a bit done today. Um, got to. I uh, had to call out a. No, a plumber this morning. Like I told y'all this morning, there was a leak in our kitchen from the ceiling. And my thinking was it was probably from the air conditioner and guess what, I was right. The plumber came out and he was like, um, I'll have to cut up, you know, cut into the drywall and see where this water's coming from. And Darnell said something, and mind you, I'm on FaceTime this whole time. And Darnell said something like, well, Evan, is Ivy's, are y'all, is y'all's bathroom above us? And I was like, no, their bathroom is directly above the downstairs half bath. Um, and Evan was like, no, Ivy's bedroom is right above us. So Darnell and Evan and the plumber went upstairs and right next to Ivy's room is, um, our like inside unit like the furnace I don't know what it is to be honest I know it's the furnace but like it also is like part of the air conditioning unit I don't fucking know but anyways so they opened the door they're like oh well it's there's a leak right here look at all this water and thank god the plumber guy was like look you had the AC people out yesterday we were like yeah he said call them back have them come back out I'll only charge you the $50 like service call fee for me to come out here because he said, um, call, th this has got to be AC stuff. So, we did it. And, um, AC guy came back out. And there was, like, a clog in the pipe, which helps circulate the water. And, um, there was also, like, no P-trap to catch any excess, so... He insulated the pipe, he installed the P-trap, and um, it's not leaking now. It's working fine, another $200 later, but it's okay. The shit's fixed, the air conditioner works. Um, we have groceries, we have food, we have a roof over our head, we have clothes on our backs, we're okay. So, um, yeah, that was exciting at like, Poor Darnell, I was like, put me on FaceTime <laughs> when they're there. And when the plumber was there this morning, I was like, don't forget to show them the coupon. Show them the coupon. That was really annoying. Um, so I am currently trying to get home. There's some traffic on 75. Um out tonight and Brittany called me to make sure I feel good enough to go and I was like yeah I do I feel I'm a little sore but not as bad as I thought I would be and she's like okay I'm not gonna take it as easy on you today I was like oh great wonderful fuck maybe I should have said like I'm dying no but I'm excited um I'm gonna go home change and I'm a figure out what I'm gonna feed these kids tonight and then I'm gonna go work out so I'll probably do another car confessional maybe on my way home from working out because I forgot to do it last time so um but yeah I whoa big truck um yeah I um uh, we out here we out here and it's a good day cookie cake for his birthday and 
we're gonna do a family dinner tomorrow night. I think at the Cheesecake Factory is what he chose, or Red Robin. I don't know which one he ended up choosing, but um, yeah, I gotta find a cookie cake. He keeps saying he wants that instead of like a regular cake. So, um, ah! Bitch. Um, so, yeah. Okay, that's enough. I'm getting irritated now. Alright, I'll fucking post later. Bye.